we are discussing the topic set point. Set point will be used whenever we are trying to do rollback or undo on our transactions. Using set point, we can partially undo our transactions and we can work with that. To have a detailed idea regarding this set point, we should give a proper example for that. So here is the example and with the respective text. This generates, that means set point generates an identifier that the user can subsequently use to roll the transaction back to. That means using the set point, the rollback operations can be done accordingly. So the rollback will be written in this way, rollback to the set point identifier using this particular statement. If the conception is not clear, let us go for this example. So here you are defining one set point at this particular line. So set point SP1, you can give other names also for set point. So we have written SP, you can give say marker 1 or say line 1, whatever the identifier name you can give there. Delete from EMP where ID is equal to 1. So that is one delete operation we are doing on the EMP table. Again we are establishing another set point, set point SP2, delete from EMP where ID is equal to 2. Again we are establishing another set point here, defining another set point. So set point SP3, delete from EMP where ID is equal to 3. So in this way we have written 3 delete statements and we are having 3 set points in between SP1, SP2 and SP3. Now we are writing rollback to SP2. So that means we are doing the undo operation up to this particular set point. That means after this if we go for select start from EMP, in that case what will happen? You will find that that employee record with ID is equal to 1 has got deleted. You cannot find that one because you have done the rollback up to SP2. But this ID is equal to 2 and ID is equal to 3, again these two IDs will be finding the respective tuple in the EMP table. And that is the advantage of this set point. If we do not keep this set points here and if we do only rollback, then all the transactions will be undo. You can find that ID1, ID2, ID3 with these three respective IDs, you will be finding the tuple in the EMP table. So similarly, if we do rollback to SP3, then this particular delete statement will become undo. So now next time if you go for select start from EMP, in that case you will be finding tuple or record against the ID3, but not against the ID2 or ID1. So this is the advantage of having set point and the respective rollback to set point identifier statements. Thanks for watching this video.